Dear friends, the COVID-19 situation has affected and disrupted life across many countries. In some places, there is uncertainty, fear, panic buying, and even shortages. We hear so much bad news in the media every day that it may be hard not to feel anxious and afraid, not just for yourself, but for your loved ones too. Today, we just want to encourage and remind you that this virus that has caught the world by surprise is of no surprise to the Lord. Our God is a good God. He did not send the virus, but He has already prepared for us the answer. We want to encourage you to do the following during this time. Firstly, meditate and hold on to God's promises of protection for you in Psalms 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Also partake regularly of the Holy Communion, discerning the Lord's body and His finished work, knowing that the health and healing Jesus died for you is yours to receive. In fact, why don't we take the Holy Communion together right now? You don't need to use anything special. Whatever you have available to use as the bread and the cup will be enough. Are you ready to partake? Hold the bread and say, Lord Jesus, this bread represents your body, beaten and broken for me. By your stripe, I am healed and made whole. I am strong and healthy based on the righteous foundation of your finished work. By your grace, long life and divine health is my portion. I will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. You may partake. Now hold up the cup and say, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your shed blood that has paid for my forgiveness. Through your sacrifice, through your precious blood, I have been made righteous forever. All the blessings of the righteous, including health, healing, protection, and supernatural favor are mine. Please drink. Now just receive his health, his protection, and peace of mind today. As the world gets darker and darker, know that we, as God's children, will continue to be a light that shines in the darkness. For we have the blessed hope of salvation that cannot be taken away from us. Let us continue to pray and believe that this season will pass swiftly and that our countries, communities and loved ones will remain safe and protected in this time. God bless you.